All right, in today's video, we are gonna cover three incredible open source tools that just dropped this week. We have a tool that completely changes live streaming. It lets you replace your face with a realistic avatar that mimics your every move and expression in real time. Then we have a small but powerful text-to-speech model that is absolutely destroying benchmarks, beating even the big closed source competitors. I told you stop nagging. All right. Haven't you nagged enough in this lifetime? And finally, we have a mind-blowing tool that can take any standard video and instantly generate a perfect high-accuracy POV shot from it. Let's dive right in. First up, we have Persona Live, an incredibly impressive framework designed specifically for expressive portrait image animation. If you've ever wanted to replace yourself with a high-quality avatar during a live stream or video call, this is the tool to watch. It allows you to take a single static portrait and animate it in real time using your own movements, making it a game changer for digital creators and virtual streamers who need high fidelity results without the massive compute overhead. Looking at the examples, the precision here is top tier. You can see the source video in the bottom left acting as the driver for a realistic female portrait. The output on the right isn't just swapping a face, it's capturing fine-grained facial expressions, head tilts, and even body posture with amazing fluidity. Unlike traditional face-swapping tools that often feel stuck in the uncanny valley, Persona Life maintains a natural look. In the second example, we see it working with a stylized animated character. As the real person moves their lips or shifts their gaze, the avatar mimics every subtle nuance perfectly. My expert take on this is that the temporal stability is what really sets it apart. You don't see the usual jittering or ghosting artifacts common in earlier diffusion models. The secret sauce behind this performance is a three-stage tech stack. First, it uses hybrid motion signals, combining implicit facial representations for expressions with 3D implicit key points to handle global head movements. Second, the researchers implemented a fewer step appearance distillation. They realized that the basic structure of a frame is decided in the first few denoising steps, so they distilled the model to eliminate the redundant steps usually spent on fine-tuning textures. Finally, it uses an autoregressive microchunk streaming paradigm, which essentially breaks the video into tiny pieces and uses a sliding training strategy to ensure the animation stays consistent over long periods without crashing or drifting. When it comes to the benchmarks, the numbers are actually wild. Persona Live achieves a 7 to 22 times speed up over previous diffusion based portrait models. On a single NVIDIA H100 GPU, it hits 15.82 frames per second with a latency of just 0.25 seconds. If you use the tiny VAE decoder, you can even push it up to 20 FPS. In terms of quality, it scored a 0.703 on the AED motion accuracy metric and a 520.6 on FVD, consistently beating out competitors like X-Portrait and Hunyan Portrait in both speed and stability. If you want to try this out yourself, the good news is that the code and model weights are officially available. The total file size on Hugging Face is about 18 gigabytes, and for those of you worried about hardware, it only requires 12 gigabytes of VRAM to run in real time. This makes it accessible for most mid to high end consumer GPUs. I've dropped the GitHub repository and Hugging Face links in the description so you can check out the installation instructions and get it running on your local machine. Next up, we have a massive release from the Alibaba group called Cozy Voice 3. This is their third iteration, and while the previous versions were decent, this new one is frankly remarkable. Titled Towards In the Wild Speech Generation, this tool is designed to handle real-world messy audio scenarios with ease. It's an open-source model with an Apache 2.0 license coming in at a very manageable 0.5 billion parameters. It supports 19 languages and over 18 Chinese dialects, offering cross-lingual zero-shot voice cloning. One of the most impressive stats here is the latency. It features streaming text in, text out with just a 150 millisecond delay, which is incredibly low. When compared to other open source models like F5 TTS or competitors like Vibe Voice, Cozy Voice 3 takes the lead in content accuracy and speaker similarity benchmarks, as you can see from the charts on the screen. Let me play some examples for you so you can hear what it actually sounds like. We'll start with zero shot in context generation. Here is a five second English input voice prompt. There is no lock, but a golden key will open it. Now, let's listen to the result from the previous version, Cozy Voice 2. Buckler tranquilizes Holly with a hypodermic dart gun. It's okay, but you can definitely feel that robotic AI generated vibe. But now listen to the latest 0.5 billion model. Butler 
tranquilizes Holly with a hypodermic dart gun. You can see how similar it is to the voice we provided. The similarity is excellent. There's also a larger 1.5 billion model, but since that's not released, I won't play those results here. I'll put the link in the description so you can check them out yourself. Now, check out this challenging input voice. And there are dune, frogs, and plants that insist on living where survival seems impossible. You can hear there's a lot of background noise and it sounds like an Indian English accent. And look at this output. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? You can see that the output actually preserves the background noise and the specific acoustic vibe, making the similarity almost identical. Moving on to other languages, it supports Russian, Spanish, French, and many others. Let's listen to a Russian example. Check out this Russian input. And now check the Russian output generated from it. As you can hear, the similarity you're getting here is amazing. It's almost identical. Next, let's look at mixed lingual generation. This means you give one input, for example, a Chinese input. Listen to this three-second Chinese clip. Now, let's hear the English plus Chinese output generated from that clone. I can't wait to try the new Pivingbap restaurant downtown this weekend. You can see that the similarity is much better than previous versions even when the output language is different from the input. It handles text with mixed language as well. Here's an example where there is a Korean word embedded in the text. Tomorrow, I'm planning to go shopping for a new telebi at the electronics store. It still successfully generates the speech without stumbling. My favorite part is the emotions. Listen to this input voice. Great, yeah, it really has been great too. You know, some of these people must have seen me play before because they were requesting a bunch of my songs. Now check the output with a happy expression. I actually managed to grab tickets to Ethan Chan's concert. It's amazing. I can't wait to hear his voice live. Similarly, check this sad input. Born once every 100 years, dies in flames. And the sad output. The research institute won't renew my contract, so I have to go back to my country. I don't even have a job anymore. This next one is angry. Listen to this. The boy, O'Brien, was specially maltreated. And here's the output. I told you stop nagging. All right? Haven't you nagged enough in this lifetime? I'm quite impressed by this. The input had a very specific angry tone and the model captured that intensity perfectly in the output. Finally, check this surprised input. I can't believe it. The lions just broke out of their enclosure and are walking around freely. And now the surprised output. What did you just say? Is this really true? I can't believe it at all. The tone matches the input exactly. There are also cross-lingual capabilities where the input is in one language and the output is in another. Listen to this Japanese input. Now listen to the output in Chinese. And now in English. Hey, look, a flying pig. And finally, check out the output of the same voice in Russian. Even if you don't speak Russian, you can hear that the voice characteristics remain exactly the same as the input voice you gave in a different language. Briefly explaining how this works, they achieved this by scaling up significantly. They expanded their training data from 10,000 hours to a massive 1 million hours. They also developed a novel speech tokenizer based on the MinMo audio understanding model, which is supervised on tasks like emotion recognition. Crucially, they utilized a new post-training technique called Differentiable Reward Optimization, or DIFRO, which aligns the model closer to human speech patterns. In terms of benchmarks, the 0.5 billion model achieves a character error rate of just 5.09% on the hard test set, significantly beating out previous versions. The best news is that the code and model weights have just been released. You can find the inference code on their GitHub and the weights on Hugging Face and ModelScope. The 0.5 billion parameter model is surprisingly small, with a total file size of about 7.5 gigabytes. You can run it comfortably on just 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Obviously, more RAM equals faster speeds, but it runs easily even on entry-level consumer GPUs. I'll include all the links in the description so you can download it and try it out yourself. 
Next up, we have a project that is honestly a bit mind-bending called EgoX. The concept here is egocentric video generation, which is just a fancy way of saying it takes a standard third-person video, like a movie scene or a sports clip, and regenerates it entirely from the character's point of view. It literally puts you in the shoes of the subject, creating a first-person perspective, or POV, from a single camera angle. Let's look at some examples to show you how well this handles spatial awareness. First, take a look at this clip of the Joker. On the left is the original movie scene where he's gesturing and then looks sharply to the right at an explosion. The AI-generated video on the right captures every movement perfectly. You see his hands shaking in front of you and then the camera snaps to the right for the blast. It feels incredibly grounded. There's also this scene with Iron Man where a character is removing wires from his chest. The model generates the POV of the woman performing the procedure, and the depth perception as she pulls the wire toward the camera is fantastic. It gets even more impressive with dynamic motion. In this Black Widow and Hulk clip, as the Hulk lunges, the generated POV moves and zooms naturally, maintaining the correct scale. But the real proof is in this football comparison. Look at the three panels. The left is the input, the middle is the actual ground truth recorded by a GoPro, and the right is Ego X. The similarity between the real body cam footage and the AI generation is wild. Aside from a few minor color grading differences, the geometry and motion are nearly identical. So how is it pulling this off without hallucinating a mess? EgoX doesn't just guess pixels. It first lifts the 2D video into a 3D point cloud to understand the scene's geometry. Then it creates a rough egocentric prior, basically a draft of the POV. The magic happens with something they call geometry-guided self-attention. This mechanism aligns the visual features from the original third-person video with that new 3D perspective, ensuring that the texture and details land in the right place. It's all built on top of the powerful WAN 2.1 video diffusion model. In terms of performance, the numbers back up the visuals. In the paper's benchmarks, EgoX absolutely crushes previous state-of-the-art models like exo 2 d Go v and Trajectory Crafter. On the FVD metric, which measures how realistic the video looks, where lower is better, EgoX scored a 1.847, while the closest competitor was sitting way back at 622. That is a massive margin in quality. It also secured the highest scores in PSNR and SSIM, proving it reconstructs the scene much more accurately than anything else out there. As for availability, the code is currently listed as coming soon, so we can't run this locally just yet. I've linked the project page in the description so you can keep an eye out for the release. And that wraps up our look at these incredible new AI tools. It's honestly wild to see how fast things are evolving. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please hit that like button and drop a comment letting me know which tool impressed you the most. It really helps the channel out. I'll see you in the next video.